Hello, anybody. I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb. That's right, I'm back with some more Wrath of the Lamb. Sorry, I gotta move my arm back to get a water bottle. Oh, God, because my voice seems. Mm. Water. Ugh. Perhaps I've been casting too much because my voice is like dead, man. Uh, anyway, uh, let's jump in here. Uh, then I get a lot of requests. The only request that I remember getting was Maggie, so let's play as Maggie. Let's do it. I'm down with it. Uh, I like Maggie. Oh, Curse of the Labyrinth. You know what? That's not so bad. I actually like Curse of the Labyrinth. I mean, I, I, I'm not a fan of Curse of the Labyrinth uh, on the cellar, but, uh, you know, uh, poop monsters. Uh, there are just poop monsters everywhere. They're all over my room, and then there's the poop monsters in my house, and the poop, and they're just pooping everywhere. Uh, it, fun fact, poop monsters are actually just dudes just go into people's houses and uh, poop in their houses. Um... Uh, you know, some people actually ac actually like that service. Uh, you know, people people are into some weird fetishes, man. Some people really like. You know what's really funny? Okay, there's this really funny thing on the internet um, that I saw when I was like a little kid, and it has re retained its hilarity. Uh, I forgot who made a joke about it. I, I saw I, like I only learned about it through some um, some comedian. Anyway, it's this stuff. Now, I know a lot of you are young, so I don't condone, uh, Mr. Boom, oh, Mr. Mega, that's blast damage, okay, cool, that gives us five bombs, too. Um, anyway, so I don't condone, you know, the endorsement of this, but it's really, really funny. So it's called Brazilian Fart Porn, and, uh, you, you basically, you get the idea, you don't have to look it up, uh, but, uh, <laughs> it's basically... It's, it's, it's basically just women farting each other's faces, and it's pretty funny. It is pretty, pretty darn funny. I don't know, man. You know, fetishes get weird. I mean, I guess, you know, rule... T oh, God. Is it again? We're, we're having it again. I don't remember the name of the rule. You guys corrected me last time. Rule 37 or something? I don't know. But uh, basically, if there's porn of it... I mean, if it exists, there is porn of it. So, um, if you could think of it, someone's already done it. Uh, which is funny, uh, in a couple of reasons. Uh, for instance, like, uh, whenever someone talks about originality, I always laugh because it's just like, I don't know what you mean by originality. Like, there's, look, humans have been alive for a long time, right? Antiquity goes back to, like, his, like, history, we go as far back as, like, 10,000 years, right? Humans, they recently actually found a, a, a human uh, skeleton that was like a million years old. So, humans have been around a long time. So, uh, basically, if you have an idea, someone has thought of it before. Nothing that you could possibly do is original. Now, this is something that I struggle to, uh, poop. Uh, that I struggle to cope with uh, for a long time. It's just like, oh, this idea is so cool and unique and original. And it's just like, nah, no, it's really not never is. Someone's thought of it, but it's fine. You know what? What makes originality, and this is important in video games uh, too, I think, uh, is uh, is really just a bunch of uh, a bunch of pieces put together. I forgot, there was some movie where, uh, where one of the characters says that, right? Like, if somebody tries to uh, yell at him for, or you know, sue him, actually, <laughs> which is probably worse than yelling at somebody, but uh, somebody tried to sue him for, like, copyright or something, because they said, hey, you use these parts. Oh, you know what it was about? It was about the dude who uh, who invented uh, uh, like power windows, right? Oh no, not power windows. It was uh, I, I think just rolling windows. Anyway, whatever. But basically, uh, the argument that he makes because somebody tries to sue him for copyright. Uh, and they say on the basis that, oh, well, you use these parts, uh, and we use these parts in Windows, uh, but we just, uh, the, 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 and, and so this is, this is copyright infringement. But his argument is that, uh, might as well use the um heart. His argument was that, um, that, well, yeah, I mean, I did use the parts that were already there, I, I, but, but I, I placed them in such a way, uh, that it made it unique. So, like, for instance, uh, like an example that he gave was like, you know, Mozart made great music, right? And, uh, or, or, you know, uh, someone else, Steven Spielberg made great films or something, right? Um, and he'd used equipment 
that uh, that that everyone else used. Uh, Mozart used notes that everybody else used. Um, but he he ordered them in such a way that made it his own. So really, originality is just how we interpret or how we create things um, in an original fashion. I'm gonna take damage here. Uh, I stopped firing kinda so that uh, so that I would kill both of them with one shot instead of taking two hits. Doesn't matter anymore. In the big whoa, danger zone. Um, yeah, it's, it, those guys aren't as bad as like the original Wrath of the Lamb. Because I don't know if you guys were playing when uh, when the game came out. I know a lot of you were were uh, or a few of you were have been around since uh, since I was playing the original Wrath of the Lamb. But uh, those guys used to do one part of damage, which was really annoying. Partly because if you played as Judas, it was like, well, I got the seller. That means I'm gonna lose. Um, anyway, yeah. So, so originality is really just your interpretation of things. Uh, meaning that, uh, oh, did I go to both? I did go to both treasure rooms. I'm just an idiot. What did I get in the second treasure room? Oh, right, I got the, uh, Celtic Cross. God, I'm an idiot. I, like, there was no reason for me to explore anymore. Whoops-a-daisy, whatever. It's because I was talking about stuff, because I'm an idiot. Whatever. We'll, uh, we'll move on. Ah, should I use that key on that gold chest? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna roll the dice, guys, because my thinking is this. Uh, that I like rolling the dice because I am, I am a gambling whore. And, uh, and I, I need it. Uh, by the way, you'll notice that, uh, if you guys are watching the FTL Let's Play, uh, that, um, FTL's not up yet. Uh, it will be up later on today. I just, uh, forgot to, uh, do so before I left. You know what, I'm gonna use the devil. That's kind of a waste of the devil, but I don't like fighting the widow, really, at all. Luckily, it's not Black Widow, uh, which would be an issue. But, um, but, uh, but it's good. It's fine. It's no biggie. Once we got the devil going on, yeah, it doesn't take very many shots at all. And, uh, specifically because of that, man, Pokeball Isle, pretty good. Alright, we got Squeezy. It's tears up, and a, uh, two blue hearts, so that's, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Death cool for me. Oh, so dizzy. So that's good. That is fine. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on. Really? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. All right. Oh God. Oh, come on. Oh God. I gotta. I gotta play better. I gotta be on my game, man. I'm practicing for MLG. Wouldn't that be really funny if there was like a Isaac MLG? I think that. Would be really funny. I think that would be very hilarious indeed. Okay, we got a health up, which is good jump down on the next floor uh, and see what's going on oh good we got the catacombs by the way that is sarcasm this isn't oh good oh poop. come on at least these guys move around and they shoot at you come on you son of a bitch you how many times are you gonna shoot Ugh, they just have so much health. Like, they have a lot of health even when you do a lot of damage, you know? Because they're jerks, that's why. Alright, here we go. We'll use a bomb here. I was just kind of like shuffling around there to try to get the bomb in the correct position. Oh, good. Sacrifice room. Okay. Um, that is not good, by the way. It's facetiousness. I'm using a lot of facetiousness in this, uh, in this run so far. Okay, we got judgment. Excuse me. Um, judgment's not so bad. I mean, it's pretty good. Mm, that sucks. Oh, good. You took two damage. I'll use the M heart. That's what it's for. I mean, replenishing health with an item. Pretty useful. Especially when you have the catacombs, actually. Like, catacombs and cellar makes Maggie very powerful. Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Oh, dude. Boner City. Population. Me. We got Polyphemus. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go fight the boss. <laughs> I, yeah, and I I'll probably will explore. Oh, wow. Yeah. So fast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
poo on you, is what I say. Uh, I'm actually landing more shots than I normally do, or I thought that I would. Oh! Wow! I I'm gonna be honest with you, that looked like I got hit. <laughs> like, the sprite was over me. Uh, at least slightly. So, I should be, I should have taken damage there. But, we got, uh, Cat of Nine Tails, which, you know, actually, is probably gonna be pretty good with Polyphemus. Uh, but we are gonna go explore some more, because, uh, I want some more money so that I can be able to play Judgment, and, um, you know, there's a chance. I should have been looking for the secret room, I'm um, oh no, wait, I got, uh, Crystal Labyrinth. I would probably have used all my bombs had I searched for the secret room, so, uh, so I'm, I'm not dumb. Um... I'm actually quite smart. In fact, they call me Baby Einstein. What is that from? Is that a, like that's like a children's book, right? Baby Einstein or something like that. Or is that like a children's TV show? I don't remember, man. I remember it's a stupid idea, though. When I was a kid, we had Dr. Seuss. Although that's kind of an exaggeration because then I would be a child in like the 20s or the 40s. When did Dr. Seuss start doing his books? It was like in the 20s, maybe. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Oh, alright, well, we got Kilt Across, so that's good. Uh, Kilt Across, by the way, this is what it does. Uh, every time you get hit, you have a chance of, um... Uh, uh... You know, spawning a shield, is what I was trying to say. Um, if you notice, the layout of the floor kind of looks like the Kestrel, the FTL ship. Maybe I'm just seeing that because I am playing a lot of FTL, that's possible. Okay, here's the secret room. Three more cents, that's a bummer. But we'll spend it all on Judgment. Since we don't have enough money to go to the shop, there is a small chance that Judgment could give us something, and you know what, that chance is worth six cents. At the very least, he could give us a bomber key or something. Heck, even a half heart. Yeah! Gave us the map. The map of treasure. And we get to pick up our Eternal Heart, which is great. What's really nice about Eternal Hearts is that, like, even if you don't get uh, health ups on the boss, you can just be like, oh, well, I got the Eternal Heart, so I'm going to show You know? Uh, that's what I say. I, like, I, I, I usually, when I speak, uh, I tend to s stop saying words after the first couple of words. They're like, oh, I got a good thing. It's a big thing. You know, and uh, and it usually works out for me. It's 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 hard when I'm trying to do like a business interview though, because a lot of people don't really understand what I'm trying to say, uh, which I don't understand because you know I like I, I try to enunciate as much as possible, but uh, you know sometimes sometimes people don't get it. Oh, uh, it's a bummer. Definitely not going to spend two cents at the slot machine or a bomb either. I mean, I could have blown it up, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's that valuable of an option. To uh, whoa, you are a jerk. I guess I was just too slow. I, that that actually has exposed whoop, a glaring weakness in Magdalene. And that is... Oh, come on. I'm stuck behind a rock because I'm an idiot. I'm going to use the Yum Heart. Instead of picking up that... Uh, instead of picking up that uh, that heart. Because, um, you know, it's good to save him. Save him around the floor. Who knows? Maybe we get a Blood Bank. And the uh, Yum Heart's replenishable, you know? So, yeah, see, like, I'm probably going to take damage on this room. Okay, you're a jerk. But you have unjerkified yourself because you're dead. You know, I, I may have actually uncovered a fact of life here. No one's a jerk in death. Everyone talks about how cool you are when you die. But then when you're alive, everybody's just like a douche to you all the time. But maybe it's because you are a jerk. Maybe I'm just struggling with with my own uh, inadequacy as a human being. Oh. Uh fight this boss? No. You know what? We're not going to fight the boss because here's my thinking. It could be uh, the bloat. And I don't want to fuck with the bloat. Uh, especially when I don't have as many upgrades as I can possibly have. Uh, well, I only explored that room because I thought it, it's possible, it's possible that that was a mini boss. And uh, a mini boss would be actually pretty good right now because then we would be able to, except for greed, I don't want to deal with greed. Uh, because I never like dealing with greed. Greed and Super Rat. Those are the two that I never, ever, ever, ever want to fight. Uh, but, uh, yeah. A mini boss would be good because uh, he could give us a good item. And a good item would be also pretty good. Missing Page kind of sucks. I'm going to stick with Child's Heart. Child's Heart drops a lot of hearts. Uh, which, I don't know, I guess it's working. 
I mean, I don't know if it's... Uh, I think, you know what? I want to amend what I think Child's Heart does. I think when it drops... When it's supposed to drop half hearts, it'll drop full hearts. I think that's what's happening. I don't think it drops more hearts. I think it drops full hearts when it's supposed to drop half hearts. Because it really doesn't... Like, it's not dropping that many hearts. Uh... Well, I guess we could go see what's in here. Yeah! Fuck yeah, yeah. That's, that's totally worth it. Are you kidding? That is a very rare occasion. We're getting pretty lucky on health, I want to say. Look at that. See that pro-ass, uh, diagonal shot? Told you, man, I'm training for MLG. Uh, so, you know, we have to, we have to be prepared here. Because, uh, you know, um, Dendi's there. And, uh, Opa Dendi, you know. Opa Dendi. I wonder how many of you guys, probably very few, <laughs> have ever watched, uh, Dota 2 Esports, but if you have, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. But Opa, Opa Dendi. Um, because Dendi's OP, yo. Dendi's imbalanced, yo. Like, seriously. Uh, Blizzard needs to, uh, Blizzard needs to, uh, patch him. Uh, especially because he's not even in a Blizzard game, you know? He's in a Valve game, which is... You know, pretty impressive. So Blizzard, Blizzard's just like they're, they're that into balancing. Okay, this is definitely worth one bomb because here's a little trick. We haven't seen this in a while. Boom! Look at that. And this is an example, by the way, of oh really? Well, we got. Oh wow! I got. I, I was gonna walk over to the spikes. I was like, well, I got the yum heart. Fuck it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Um, but uh, I need to. Obviously, we have. Oh, we have enough keys to go to the shop too. Well. Like, it's so highly likely that it's greed that I'm probably not going to do it. Also, oh, I didn't even see that guy. Also, uh, there is judgment up in this piece, so I feel like uh, judgment might be more valuable considering uh, our current situation with, with greed and whatnot. Uh, I was really hoping a key would drop, because then I wouldn't have to really make the choice, but it's fine. Oh, and we got the wafer. That is actually a really good item. So the wafer is damage resistant. So what that's going to do is basically we are we can only take half of a heart of damage. Which is pretty good. Pretty pretty powerful. Oh right, and we already went to the secret room because we have the treasure map. Poop. All right, and judgment should be down over here. So we might as well play him before we go fight this boss, and then we can just piece this bitch. See what's going on. Hello, Judgment. How are you doing this fine day? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. You know, I saw this one homeless guy. This is one homeless guy in New York City who uh, used to chill around my school. He was probably the best homeless guy. I probably gave him like $100 over the years. Because he used to sit with this sign. Uh, well. I mean, holy water for seven cents. I guess that's good. Uh, but anyway. Uh, actually, eight cents. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this homeless guy used to sit near my school. Now, what this homeless guy had, his sign, was, uh, Ninjas killed my family. I need money for Kung Fu lessons so I can avenge their deaths. And he would, like, just change up their sign, the sign all the time. Oh, that sucks. I didn't notice that. Oh, I didn't notice that one either. But, uh, we have the Yum Heart, so not a big issue. Dude, can you stop with the spider spawning? Yeah, there you go. Just kill your own spiders. That's, that's what I like to see. Stop making face spiders. They're the worst kind of spiders. Actually, you know what? I honestly think double spiders are worse than face spiders. Like, face spiders are dicks, but double spiders are a lot worse. Alright, so we got to tears and HP up. We have a lot of health, and we have not gotten a single gosh darn... Sorry. Uh, we haven't got a single freaking damage up, which is sad. And we've also not got a single freaking vanilla floor. We've only gotten Wrath of the Lamb floors. Oh, good. It's, oh, good. Oh, great. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, this happened to me once before. Okay. Oh, dude. Curved Horn. Boner engaged. Initiate Boner protocol. Alpha. Orion. Oh. Titties. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Stop it! Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude. 
Alright, well, I'm near dead. Uh, how that went from that to that so quickly, I have no idea. But it did, and hopefully we can survive here. Bro, we don't have any keys. Right, okay, good. <sighs> Fantastic. Well, the Yum Heart should be charged up in two rooms if I should survive these next two rooms. Oh, no. No, I probably won't survive these next two rooms. Dropping bombs. There are four of them. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We stopped one of them. Oh, God. Nope. Nope! God damn it. Alright, we got... Bombs drop, bombs drop, dropping bombs, dropping bombs, dropping bombs in my face. In my butt. Okay. Well, we got one heart from the Yum Heart. We are not going to go explore rooms. So that is a bad idea. Uh, we used up all of our bombs on that fight. Because I'm dumb and bad at dodging. Oh, come on. Uh, you know what? We're starting to, to expose our glaring weakness, which I never told you what it was. And that is our speed. Um, that is a big issue here. Because I'm not really able to dodge. How did I take damage? How did I take damage? I, I, I could have sworn that I didn't... Ugh. Alright. Uh, I would actually use a bomb to get there, but I used up all my bombs because I'm dumb. Oh dear. Okay. I definitely will now use a bomb if I were to so get it because uh, I have golden poop here. Golden poop means lots of money. Hopefully, at least. Now uh, we got the counterfeit penny, which isn't lots of money. I'd rather have. What? I had. A, I did not even. I did not even touch those poops. I feel like I'm giving like a. a oh come on! I feel like I'm testifying to a grand jury. I did not touch those poops. Alright, so they opened up the secret room for me, which is very nice of them to do. Give me a one-up. That's what I want. I want a one-up. Oh, greed. Okay, good. <laughs> well, at least we know the shop's free. Uh, mini bosses. That's what's really nice about going into the secret room. And, uh... Find a greed is because it's just like, oh hey greed, peace. I'm out. Uh, you've been good to me so far, judgment. Please don't fail me now. That's not. That's kind of failing me. Oh, you have not failed me. Uh, but you kind of have because bum friend kind of sucks. But you know what? There's a chance he could drop hearts for us. So we need to play that chance. We need to play those odds, guys. Because I have no health again. And I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Mmm, this is definitely not what I'm going to do about it. This room is not going to help. Luckily, there's no rocks. If there were rocks in this room, then I'd be dead, probably. And that would have been way too hard. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Okay, this is a dangerous room. Could potentially kill me. I have not landed a single shot because of those stupid flies... Oh, the other en when I have a halo oh come on. Alright. When I have a halo of flies, the other enemies must be so angry. Now I feel their pain. I don't have any I don't have any <laughs> any money, so I can't actually even play the uh go to the shop. Well, here we go. Let's go fight the boss. Two hearts. Oh good, mask of infamy. Well, this looks like the end for us, uh, fellas. And ladies, I'm gonna try to make it not the end for us, but Chances are, it will be. I'm, I'm gonna try my best. I, I will offer you this in my service. See, the issue is that uh, I am slow, so that actually kind of makes this fight a lot harder, dude. Enough, blow you up. Oh, come on! And then he walks away from the bomb. Well, that was the last bomb. That was the last chance to do a lot of damage to him. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. No, alright, well, here we go. Just, just, I can't even hit him when I'm... Come up in here. Okay. 
So here's the thing. This fight could either take forever or I could <laughs> die. Okay, here we go. We got Kelt Cross again. Kelt Cross again. Just hit him. Please, God, hit him. For the love of God. Smite my foe, Lord! Oh, god damn it. Well, here we go. This is the end. This is the end, and I don't want the end to come so soon. But there's really not much I can do about it. We have so much health, too! God damn it! It takes so much damage. Probably because I'm an idiot. I'm just playing this as like cautiously as possible. And hopefully I don't die, but I probably will. Ah, this is just the worst enemy of the game. Easily the worst. The worst. And we have only gotten we like we got the necropolis, we got the catacombs. I'm gonna take the damage here if I stay there. Okay. We got the necropolis, we got the catacombs. Way to artificially lengthen a run is fight freaking massive infamy because this fight takes six goddamn minutes. Okay. I think I may have figured out how to how to get massive infamy. Nope, never mind. I'm a liar. I am the walrus. Oh, you know, someone uh, actually, uh, I, I just recently saw the comment and I didn't, uh, I didn't actually respond to it yet because I took a short video, but, um, oh, come on. I hate that he can just stop his charge. That's so irritating to me. Because it just makes it, like, patternless, meaning you can't beat him. Yeah, see? Here's why I don't like this enemy. He has no pattern. He's random. It's irritating. I don't know how many shots I've landed. Maybe, maybe five. Oh my god, he's dead. But we have half a heart, and he dropped zero freaking hearts. Nothing? Okay. Here's what we do. We go in here. Uh, okay, they, they do have a heart for three cents. Cool. Cool. That is what I like to see. And now we leave. <laughs> and we are near death again. Let me guess, the Acropolis again? Yep. We have only gotten Wrath of the Lamb Floors, which is probably why I am doing so poorly. It's those hearts and masks, man. Ah, uh, I guess I'll go this way. This could be... Basically any room in the Necropolis could be my death. Essentially. Um, which is bad. Ah, oh, farts. Oh, God. Oh, you are a, like a goddamn G-Man. Seriously. Speaking of G-Man, have you guys played Black Mesa Source yet? I was thinking of doing a video on it, but uh, I haven't played it either. So, I mean, that's part of, part of the reason I wanted to make a video on it. Is, uh, I, I, I only kind of play games now. Like, when I'm playing a game, it's like, well, I might as well record it, right? Like, I barely play games. The only game that I play without recording most of the time is, uh, is Dota. Oh, good, okay. We're, we're getting back to full health. We're getting into safer scenario. Oh, yeah. Uh, bump friend, please. Have fun. Eat up. Thanks, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's glorious. Alright, the game is artificially keeping us alive. Uh, we might as well go to the secret room. Okay, we got, uh... Eh, might as well let him pick it up. Cool, that was very nice of you. Luck down. Whatever. Uh, we are gonna have to go into this room, which kinda sucks, but, uh... You know, probably not a big deal. I have to, like, choose my shots, and I'm choosing incorrectly. Ugh. Yeah, okay, well... That was a poor decision on my part, to stay in that corner. I suppose that's what it means to get cornered. I want some money, too. Just in case. Just in case we get into another scenario where I have to buy something for three cents, you know? I thought he was going to move to the right. Well, I didn't actually try to diagonal that. Okay. Turns out I cannot hit anybody. And I will pick up this nickel, too, because again, I want a little bit of money. 
Um, even though Bum Friend can give us stuff like hearts, he's already given us. Wow, that was <laughs> that was some good dodging right there. That's threading the needle, is what I call it. Needle has been threaded. Side note: threading needles. That shit is that sucks. I hate threading needles. You guys ever have to thread a needle? Have you guys ever tried that? It is really difficult. It is extremely hard. Threading needles. Why do they do that? Why do they make them so small? I don't understand. I don't get it. Why would you do it? Why would you make my life so difficult? Alright, so we have... That, which is good. Oh, no, not for now. Okay. Oh, fucking masks, man. Every time, they can just end a goddamn run because they're so irritating. See, I, I, like, I, I do a lot of damage right now. Like, a lot of damage. And, uh... And that thing still, straight up, just does not die. It refuses. It refuses to have its death. Oh, come on. I walk into the fly. Alright. Oh, come the fuck on. Oh, I'm gonna kill someone. I am doing... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, come on! I am doing such a poor job of dodging. I have no idea what is going on with my fingers and my brain today. I apologize. What the heck, man? I just got hit like three times in a row. Oh, well, if I'm bad at dodging today, then this is definitely not a room for me. Ugh. Oh. Well, I did just call it, so, you know, in fairness. Nope, just hit him. Freaking hit him. Okay, there we go. Yep, there we go. Takes more damage. Fantastic. Which is great. On Fistula, which is an easy enemy. I don't know, man. I I don't know. I have no idea why I'm dodging so poorly. I'm trying to think of reasons. I'm trying to think of excuses more likely, or more specifically. Uh for me to not be playing very well. I can't really think of them. I mean, uh well, yeah. I mean, that wasn't even just not playing well, it's just when you get a- Oh, well now this is just shitty. When you get a room full of double spiders, things are just going bad for you. Oh, really, troll bomb? Okay, the bomb at least exploded. Okay, we're almost back to full health, then we'll go fight, uh, Mom, right? I forgot about that. Oops, it is. At least we're, like, plowing through the game, kinda. I mean, we would- we would have been- What the fuck hit me? Oh, it was a maggot. I didn't even see the maggot! Jesus, what is going on? I am getting eternally frustrated. Yep, great. Cool. Yep, can't make this fight easy, can you? Nope, no you can't. Well, I may die here. Yeah. There we go. What? They up the difficulty? Oh, Jesus Christ, you guys hit me. Got hit again. Shut up, Mom, with your laughter. I do not need any laughter up in this piece. Yeah, I kind of... Maybe I'm just used to more speed. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just bad at dodging. Oh, come on. Well, I'm near my death here, fellas and ladies. This could be the end. This could very well be the end. I don't want it to be the end. It could be the end. Let's be honest. She keeps spawning things! Stop with the... F oh, Jesus. It's like Maggie's head bigger than everybody else? Oh god. I am dumb. I apologize for the poor play. I have no idea what's going on and why I'm doing so poorly. Uh, but, uh, you know, in the future, perhaps, uh, I, will, I will be better. One could hope, one could dream. A man could hope and dream and pray and love and lie. Okay. Playing this one close to the chest. It's killing everything. It's oh, you bitch. Alright, well. Uh, we tried. <laughs> we tried and failed. So we didn't really try hard enough, obviously. But, we did try. So, sorry. I, I don't even know, man. I, I was taking a lot of hits there. I, I just, I don't, I don't know, man. We had, we had some pretty darn good upgrades, too. Yeah, actually, we had the wafer also, which meant we were only taking half a heart. Ah, uh, I am just, 
I am, I am sick with myself here. This is, this is cause for, this is cause for slitting one's wrists, I'd have to say. Well, um, if I'm alive tomorrow, then you know that, uh, that I got over this. However, if I'm not, then, uh, I may have to jump off the Empire State Building in shame. Uh, for I have dishonored my family. And, uh, and embarrassed myself in front of the internet. And I'm sorry. I'll get better tomorrow, I hope. One can dream. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway, with my, uh, senseless banter. And, uh, anyway, this is Alpaca Patrol. Oh, uh, by the way, also, uh, FTL should be coming out, uh, soon. As well. I just have to record it. Because I didn't record it yesterday. <gasps> Excuse me. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys liked it. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.